Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back with another interview today. I'm happy to be joined by player for the Sugarland Skeeters, Anthony Giusanti. Anthony, thank you so much for coming on today. Eli, I appreciate you having me on, man. Thank you so much for coming today. You were a 49th draft pick by the two, in the 2009 Major League Baseball draft, coming out of Siena College. Uh, it's not a p huge college. You weren't a high, pick, high draft pick. Uh, what were your expectations coming into pro ball? Uh, how much? How much do you think? How long? How far would you think you go? What were your expectations coming in? I didn't really have many expectations. I was just grateful for the opportunity. You know, just like you said, it's a small college that uh, you know has not really um, had a lot of draft picks and that much success. Um, but you know, you'll be surprised. There's been there's been a lot of good draft picks out of Siena College, and I knew coming into it, I was going to work hard. And you know, I had a lot of um, I had a family member in professional baseball, I had a couple friends in professional baseball, so I had some good guidance, and I knew who I was and my work ethic, and and uh, how I was um, brought up, and how I love the game to play the game. And I knew just going into it, I was going to work hard and um, make the best out of my opportunity. Uh, you came up in the Cubs organization with some great players like Jorge Soler, Chris Bryant, Al Addison Russell, Ian Happ, World Series champions last year. Uh, can you tell me about their organization? It's obviously a special organization, uh, a lot of prospects throughout the past few years. Who are some of your mentors coming up the organization, and who are some people that had an effect, like they had the effect on these guys who would become World Series champions? The organization as a whole was great. When when they brought in the Theo Epstein regime, they just did a good job with, you know, whatever algorithm it is that he has. They they put together a great team with a good balance of talent, clubhouse guys, hard workers, and you know they did well. And you know coming up through the system, I was fortunate enough to play and live with guys like like Chris Bryan and Javi Baez and Addison Russell. And to see the pedigree for a winning recipe was was awesome. And you know it all started at the top with Theo and the guys they brought in, the trades they made, and and the different things they were looking for outside of just pure talent. Uh, you would play up to, uh, six years in the Chicago Cubs organization. What were the biggest lessons that you learned coming up the organization that helped you become the player you are today? Uh, honestly, didn't really have too many mentors. One of the one of the reasons I did stick around for six years is because of the way I did carry myself and the work ethic that I um, showed to those guys. So if anything, they actually had me. Um, you know, guiding and mentoring those guys and professionalism and hard work and work ethic and kind of taking them through the ropes. Like, you know, uh, like Chris Bryan and, and then those guys kind of came up. I was one of the older guys on the team and just kind of uh, helped them kind of get through things and all the other odds and ends and variables you don't, you're not used to coming up um, from college or high school. And um, But other than that, there's a lot of guys in the organization that just, that were just professional. And, um, you know, they did a great job bringing in guys to, you um, you know, lead the way and, and lead by example. And it was a cool turnaround to see from, you know, one of the worst teams in baseball to a qu quick turnaround to the best, you know? Uh, so for the past two years, you've been in the, in the independent Atlantic League of professional baseball. It's the highest level of independent baseball. Uh, you're playing with f m many former major leaguers, some of the top prospects in baseball. Last year, you were with the Bridgeport Bluefish. Right now, you're with the Sugarland Skeeters. How do you like this league and the opportunity that it gives you? This league's incredible. You know, I was in for a rude awakening last year when I came into this league and I fell into the stigma of the word independent baseball and I was sadly mistaken, you know. I, they took it right to me and this is, you know, this is AAA caliber baseball. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of hungry, fresh, fresh bodies out here that are ready to get back into affiliated baseball and it's a really cool opportunity to be able to be a part of it and see where you stack up. You know, it's whatever you can do here, you can do an affiliated ball, and it's just one of those things where you got to be fortunate enough for the opportunity. That's how baseball is. It's a numbers game. It's just as much luck sometimes as it is productivity, and this league gives you the opportunity for both. Uh, right now you're with the reigning champ skaters, uh, but uh, at this level, players have a lot of different goals to make it back to affiliated ball, to make it to the majors, to win a championship, just to have success, to have fun. Right now, playing for the skaters, what's your goal this season? My goal is to just just keep playing. You know, it's it's great to have an opportunity to play every day, and um, be a part of a, a class organization and play under a manager like Gary Gaetti with so many years of experience and so much baseball knowledge that, you know, I'm just I love this game so much that I'm just fortunate enough to be on the field every day with with a good organization um, in a good league with a bunch of good people. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it.